The purpose of this summit is to bring like-minded schools together to create, enhance, and promote greater levels of compassion within our school communities. And it starts with the students, because peace is born in schools. So we've had two speakers who've spoken about the most destructive elements of what we do to each other through war. This isn't just about killing and war. What we do to each other, it's about finding places of love and kindness and empathy and caring for people who need it. We've learned quite a bit this weekend. Many of you are exhausted. Thank you for persevering. Thank you for being in the moment. You've had some awesome people who've helped guide you uh, through some of the challenges, some of the um, poss possibly confusion of what's right, what's wrong. Um, we'd like to take a minute now to recognize the workshop leaders. Many of you have spent lots of time together over the last week, hopefully developing in some friendships and bonding together. Uh, so as a token of our appreciation, if I could get all of the workshop leaders up on the stage, please. And Carl, I don't know if we can get a little uh, house lights up. If we could get all the workshop leaders up on the stage, please. So workshop leaders, thank you very much for the time, energy you've invested in the lives of, of these young people who will go out and make a difference in their world. Um, we know it takes lots of behind-the-scenes work. So on behalf of the Compassion Summit, thank you very much for your time and commitment to this work. Thank you very much. So I'm the, I'm the lucky one that gets to say lots of, lots of thank yous. Uh, we want to thank the NISA organization and Maddie Hewitt who helped provide funding for this event. Also want to thank Mary Nazal and the Landmark Hotel for her generous giving. Uh, many of you have probably haven't seen them, but our custodial staff has worked tirelessly over the last three days. Even though they're not here, can we just give them a huge round of applause? The, cha the chaperones, if you are here as a chaperone, could I get you to stand as well, please? Yeah, big round of applause, thank you. And I'd like to thank um, Anne and Mo and Jennifer and Tara. Can I get you to stand, please? All right? They, they, they have been, they have taken, they have taken an idea and made it reality. So as part of our ongoing efforts with the Compassion Summit, uh, we'll be sending out a survey to you just to get some feedback for what worked and what didn't because this, we want this to be applicable to you. So it is our hope that you will have the courage, energy, and drive to go back to your schools to take compassionate action. It is our hope that you will go back to your schools to continue the work you've started here. It is our hope that something has resonated, has spoken to you, has challenged you, has inspired you, that you'll take that outrage and channel it into something that's kind and loving and beautiful. As I said to our high school students at the walkout on Thursday, my generation has failed you as students. I'm sorry for that. It is, our genera it is your generation that will create a world that is blind to color, 
to religion, to social class, and to economic position. You are not our only hope, but we're really depending on you. We look forward to hearing about the amazing work that you do back in your schools. We appreciate the time that you've taken to be here uh, and what you've given to us. Uh, we are a better place for your efforts. So with that, I bring the Compassion Summit to an end. Um, Alamak, go with God. Thank you.